And Tumoreski is the new head coach of Chelsea and this brings so much enthusiasm into all of the Chelsea fans after the poor couple of seasons that they had. And that's why in today's video we're gonna rebuild a Chelsea on the most realistic way by starting with no money as a budget and we're gonna try to develop some of our best players, generate some money and of course convince some of the players that are heavily linked with a move to Chelsea to join us. So if you enjoy this type of videos, leave a like, subscribe to my youtube channel but now let's begin the chelsea reboot with enzo maresca this is how the chelsea squad is looking after tiago silva left us and since we don't have any money in our budget we need to be really careful which position we're gonna improve and i don't think that we're gonna sign a new fullback like reese james if he remains healthy is one of the best fullbacks in the world also we do have cucurella who is our left back and he's quite young he's only 24 years of age we also do have ben shiro who is gonna be his back up but i think we're gonna sign a new center back currently our two center backs are the sassy who is 79 overall and levy Cowell. and levy Cowell does have so much potential to develop himself but the sassy in my opinion it's time to replace him so this is gonna be our main target for the first season we do have one of the best young midfielders in the world but we need to give them some time to develop themselves moises kaiser was such a bower at brighton but his first season at chelsea he was not that great but he's 80 overall and he still does have so much potential to develop himself same we can say for Enzo Fernandez he was such a great midfielder for Benfica and for Argentina in the World Cup but for Chelsea somehow he's just not performing that great and on the other hand is Cole Palmer he had one of the best seasons in his career he's 80 overall he also has the potential to reach 87 and he's definitely gonna be a player to build a team around. Madueke is currently our right winger but there are so many rumors about Michael Ulisse joining Chelsea so if a good offer for Madueke come maybe we can consider selling him. Our current center forward is Nkunku but he was injured the whole first season that he was at Chelsea so we're definitely gonna rely much much more on him but there are also some rumors about the striker joining Chelsea. I'm gonna show to you that a little bit later. And now the left wing position. Currently we do have Mikhailo Mudrik and Raheem Sterling. And if a good offer for Raheem Sterling come, we're definitely gonna accept it. We need some money. He's getting older and older. I think he's close to 30 years of age. Yeah, he's 28. So if a good offer come for Sterling, we're definitely gonna sell him. And these are all of the players that we put on the transfer list. So let's just simulate a couple of days and let's see what type of an offers we're gonna receive. We receive straight away an offer for Trevor Chalobo from Newcastle and of course we accepted it and they gave us nearly 13 million for him but then look what happened man Liverpool gave us nearly 30 million for Raheem Sterling he's coming back to his boyhood club what a feeling also for him and also for us man now our budget is over 40 million and with that money first I decided to sign the players that already joined a Chelsea like Kendrick Paez. What a talent this Ecuadorian winger is gonna be. He's only 16 years of age. He's 71 overall. He has the potential to reach 87 and he's only worth 4 million. Then we brought Tosin Adarabio to the club. He's 76 overall center back. He's 25 years of age. We paid only 7 million for him and now look what also happened we recalled Lukaku and Spurs decided to pay us over 40 million for him wow this was crazy and now our budget is nearly 75 million and with 75 million we can definitely try to bring Michael Olise to Chelsea we paid over 50 million for Michael Olise but it was definitely worth it he's 80 overall he has the potential to reach 87 and I'm super excited to see how he's gonna develop next to Cole Palmer and with all of these signings we still do have nearly 20 million to improve that a team and I do believe it just feel right if we sign some of the players that previously were managed by Enzo Maresca and these are the two that I want to see at Chelsea the first one is Mats Hermansen he's 75 overall goalkeeper that had the potential to reach 83 I think he was the best goalkeeper in the championship and then we do have this a guy Deuce Ho, who is a center midfielder he's 78 overall but so far we do have one of the best young midfielders so maybe 
maybe we're gonna go for Mats Hermansen and we straight swap him with Robert Sanchez I think Mats Hermansen is overall the better goalkeeper out of the two of them and now this is how the team is looking he's gonna be our starting goalkeeper we do have our new captain who is Reese James then Tosin Adarabio is gonna be one of our center backs. Levi Koyo is gonna be the other one. Cucurella. The midfielders were not gonna touch. Michael Olise is our new right winger. Nkunku is gonna be the center forward. And Mikhailo Mudri is gonna be our left winger. We're not gonna give him a chance to shine for Chelsea. And let's see how this boy is gonna progress. On the bench, we do have Nicholas Jackson. But I'm thinking about signing a striker who is heavily linked with a move to Chelsea recently. And this is John Duran, our new number nine. We paid seven million to Aston Villa for him, but he's gonna be the best backup, in my opinion, of Christopher Nkunku. Before starting simulating, we need to set up our tactical vision, and I'm going for gag and pressing. We do have so many young and energized players, so I think this is gonna fit perfectly into their style of play. So let's see how we're gonna perform in our first season of this review. And we finished fifth in our season, far away from the top four, but we can conceded 47 goals where definitely need to start improving our defense because with this defense we cannot win big trophies maybe we need to buy a better center back than Tosin Aderabio and of course Levi Cowell Herman is now 79 overall I think he grew with four overalls Reese James is 86 overall Cucurella 83 our midfielders, man, look at Cole Palmer. He's now 86 overall. Caicedo is 83. Enzo Fernandez, 85. Nkunku is 88. Michael Ulisse is 85 overall. What a nice progression from him. Nkunku is a top goal scorer with 18 goals and 7 assists. Then Cole Palmer had a really great season, man. 11 goals and 6 assists is a brilliant performance from him. Michael Ulisse only 9 goals and 1 assist. I expect a little bit more from him, but overall the first season is in my opinion such a nice a season we finish fifth we develop our players and next season we're gonna have europa league our budget for the second season is over 40 billion and we're definitely gonna try to improve our defense we considered 47 goals and our defenders they don't look that promising man like levy coil he's 79 overall 21 years of age he still has a lot of potential but tosin adarabio he's 80 overall he's 26 years of age and i I don't think that he has much potential we do have of course this sassy who is currently on our bench he's also 26 years of age 82 overall but he has 60 pace and is that gonna be good enough in the premier league versus erling Haaland and these type of players i don't think so we do have now also ian madsen who is back from his loan spell at dortmund he's 79 overall but he has 90 pace compared to the 79 pace of cucurella but so far we're gonna stick with Cucurella and maybe next season Madsen is gonna replace him. Other than that, I don't see that we need anyone else, man. We do have a really great midfielders in Caicedo and Fernandez and of course Cole Palmer. We do have Connor Gallagher who is still at our team and of course Kendry Paez who is now 75 overall. We also do have Omari Hutchinson who is back from his loan spell at Ipswich. Madueke is still here. Chukwameke is even still here. So we do have a lot of midfielders and i don't think that we need anyone but maybe we can try to sign a backup of mikhail mudri currently we don't have any left winger to replace him if he gets injured he's 81 overall he didn't have that great season last year but maybe he needs even more time to settle so this is a position that if we do have any money left maybe we need to reconsider improving and we gave almost our entire budget for Jarrod Brandt White from Everton he's 80 overall he has the potential to reach 87 he has 76 pace and 80 defending and five star week for this is super rare for a center back he's only 22 years of age and I think he's gonna be a great addition to this Chelsea squad but sadly now we don't have any money left so if we don't receive any good offers for our players we're not gonna sign anyone in the second season but look what happened Real Madrid came with an offer of 36 million for Mikhailo Mudrik and I'm really considering accepting this offer we will negotiate something above 
45 maybe million for Mikhailo Mudrik. So let's just try that and let's see what's gonna happen. And wow, they accepted straight away our proposal of 46 million. And now Mikhailo Mudrik is leaving Chelsea, which means that now our budget is over 50 million to spend them on a new left winger. So let's see what type of a left winger we can sign for around 50 million. And for only 44 million, we signed Federico Chiesa from Juventus. His contract was expiring, so that's why we pulled the trigger. And what a signing already in our second season, man. He's 85 overall. He has some incredible stats, and I do believe that he's gonna be the key factor of us finishing in the top four by the end of the season. So let's find out. And this season was a better one, at least regarding the standings. We're gonna finish fourth in the Premier League and we're gonna have Champions League football next season. But look how many goals we conceded. 58. How is that possible, man? We conceded more goals than the previous season, but we got a better finish and we side Jared Brantwhite, like, come on. Even finished second in our group in Europa League. Then in the round of 16, we eliminated Pauk 5-3 on aggregate. In the quarterfinals, we eliminated Liu 3-0. And then, ooh, and then in the semi-final, we eliminated Liverpool 2-0 on aggregate. And now in the final, we're gonna face Paris Saint-Germain. Wow, this is super surprising component in the final of the Europa League. I honestly cannot understand how we conceded 58 goals. Our goalkeeper Hermansen is 84 overall, Rhys James 87, Jared Brantwhite 84, De Sassi is 85, Cucurella didn't improve at all. And I think from the next season, we're gonna rely on Ian Madsen, who is now 82 overall. He has more pace, he has more potential to develop himself. And I think this is gonna be the last season of Cucurella at Chelsea. What a second season at Chelsea for Michael Ulisse. He scored 27 goals and assisted 12 times. He also grew to 89 overall and he's only 23 years of age. Nkunku is the second top goal scorer with 21 goals and 3 assists. Cole Palmer also a brilliant performance. 18 goals and 10 assists and now he's 90 overall. And also Federico Chiesa man, 12 goals and 2 assists in his first season as a Chelsea player is not a bad one armando broca coming off the bench scored five goals nice it's really sad that ea are not giving john duran the chance to play a more he played only six games this season he also grew to 78 but this is not enough to lead the chelsea attack sadly but now let's see how are we gonna perform versus paris saint germain in the final of europa league brand white versus Mbappé. he doesn't have the speed bradley barcoa what a save from mats hermansen let's go Oh no, what a mistake from this sassy man. I'm telling you, we're not good defensively. Marquinhos score for Paris Saint-Germain. Very poor performance from our center back here. Like, what did Hermansen do in that situation? He started jumping even before Marquinhos took the shot. Oh, Dembele versus this sassy. This is not a good battle. Nice, this is a good one here. Ooh, this was close. What a chance here, Michael Ulisse. Come on, Michael Ulisse. Come on, Michael Ulisse. How you missed that, man. You are 89 overall. Wow, what a chance here. This was so close to be the equalizer that we need. Bradley Barco for Paris Saint-Germain. No, Mbappé. What a save here from Hermansen. Ooh, man, Paris Saint-Germain is so much better than us. Oh, Palmer right now. Nice to Chiesa. Ooh, what about Federico Chiesa? Come on, Chiesa. Come on, Federico Chiesa, man. Do something, Federico Chiesa. Nice. And Fernandez here. Oh, this is a great chance for our team. Come on, to Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer from there on. Cole Palmer. Ah, we cannot break them at all. Oh, I really hope that they are not going to score here. Wow, wow. They got us on the rebound. And in the 87th minute, this is game over guys like we cannot come back versus psg we couldn't even manage to create basically anything versus them we need to work a lot if we want to win the champions league with chelsea for the third season we can see it a little bit over 60 million as a budget and i want to sign a new goalkeeper hermansen did have a two very good seasons but we conceded so many goals through these two seasons and of course we're also gonna put madsen instead of cucurella as our new left back 
So let me show you for which goalkeeper are we going. And we went for the best Italian goalkeeper. Gianluigi Donnarumma is joining Chelsea and we paid only 20 million plus our goalkeeper Hermansen. What a deal, man. His contract was expiring at Paris Saint-Germain and we managed to get him his 89 overall. And this team now should compete for the Premier League title and hopefully perform really well in the Champions League. So let's find out. And look at the Donnarumma effect. We're first after 33 games and we do have 11 points lead to the second Manchester United. And our next game is going to be versus Newcastle at Stamford Bridge. And if we win it, we're winning winning the Premier League but not only that we're still undefeated and we conceded only 29 goals wow what one sign he can make to our rebuild but he cannot help us in the Champions League somehow we finished third and now we're in Europa League and there we're not even in the semi-finals where actually we we lost we lost versus Spurs in the round of 16 of the Europa League come on and of course our captain Reese James is injured I just knew it at some point of this rebuild he's gonna get injured and that's why we kept my Augusto who is actually quite good he's 83 overall and has some nice stats and he's definitely gonna replace him but look at Donnarumma man 90 overall what an addition to this Chelsea squad also Jared Brantwhite he's very unhappy I have no idea why he's playing almost every single game he's 86 overall De Sassi is 86 also Martin is 84 and so Fernandez received a red card but he's 91 overall and look at our attackers Cole Palmer 91 Michael Olise 91 Christopher Nkunku 93 overall and Federico Chiesa 91 overall wow whoa what a season for Cole Palmer he scored 32 goals and assisted 19 times this is a ridiculous performance also Christopher Nkunku 27 goals and 12 assists unbelievable Federico Chiesa what a second season 25 goals and 4 assists Michael uh, Ulisse not the greatest third season at Chelsea only 8 goals and 5 assists but maybe versus Newcastle he can shine and we started versus Newcastle on the best possible way by scoring 2 very early goals and from there on we took control over the game and we actually managed to score 2 more goals and this was the final result of that game we beat them 4-0 and so far we are undefeated and now we are Premier League champions and this is our third season the addition of Dumaruma was definitely worth it and with that we completed one half of the challenge but of course the biggest aim is the Champions League but before we jump into the fourth season let's see if we're gonna finish the third season undefeated but sadly we didn't we lost in the final game of the Premier League season at Stamford Bridge versus Brighton and sadly we couldn't manage to finish undefeated but now let's jump in the fourth season and try to win the Champions League we receive over 80 million in the fourth season and maybe now it's the time to sign a world-class center back De Sassi is now 86 overall he had a really nice campaign last season but I think we need a leader in our defense and we do have two options the first one is our former player Fikayu Tomori who is currently 88 overall and his contract is gonna expire next year so we can definitely get him for maybe 55 a million or there is Alessandro Bastoni who is 90 overall he's younger than Tomori and he's of course Italian so let's try to get him and we got him we paid a little bit over 70 million plus Levy Colwell but Bastoni is now a Chelsea player and I'm super excited for this fourth season. We should be the favorites to win the Champions League. Just look at our team. We do have one of the best defense in the world with Donnarumma, with Rhys James, and of course now with the addition of Bastoni. We do have sensational midfield with Enzo Fernandez, Moises Caicedo, and of course Cole Palmer. And our three attackers, they're above 90 overall. So let's just start the simulation and let's see how are we gonna perform in the Champions League. We won 
won the Premier League for the second straight time again with only one lost game, man. Come on. This time we also conceded only 22 goals. Wow, what a defensive team we managed to create. This time at least we won our Champions League group and then in the round of 16 we eliminated Lazio 5-2 on aggregate. Then in the quarterfinals we eliminate Barcelona 4-1 and now we're in the semis. Come on. There you go, we eliminated AC Milan and now in the final we're gonna face Real Madrid. Come on, why Real Madrid is standing away of us winning the Champions League? And this is the reason why we're the best defensive team. Donnarumma 92 overall, Rhys James 90 overall, Brandt White 88. Why are you very unhappy man? Like come on, look at also Bastoni 90 overall, Ian Madsen 87 and then our midfielders KC. 89 and so Fernandez 92 and Cole Palmer is also 92 overall wow Cole Palmer scored 31 goals and assisted 17 times in this fourth season we're gonna check who is gonna win the Bowen d'Or after the Champions League final but I do believe that this is our top favorite he has a brilliant season also 28 goals and 5 assists and Kunku 18 goals and 11 assists and Michael Ulisse 18 goals and 12 assists wow our attackers are on fire so let's see if we can defeat now real madrid this is how the real madrid squad is looking and luka modric is still playing after four years of this rebuild wow this is crazy they also added ruben diaz and trent alexander arnold this is gonna be a tough game so let's see what are we gonna do versus real madrid oh, eduardo camavinga nice jared brandt white and now maybe we can catch them on the counter attack come on Come on, man. Come on, Michael Ulisse. You do have the speed. You do have everything. Nice. Nice to Ankunku. Christopher Ankunku. Ankunku. Ankunku still. Ankunku! What a save from Thibaut Courtois. Big chance here for Real Madrid. Rodrigo here. They got us big time. Rodrigo. 1-0 for Real Madrid. How are we supposed to stop them? Another chance for Real Madrid here. Nice. Jarrod Brandt White. What a nice tackle versus Vinny Jr. Come on, boys. Maybe we can catch them right now on the counter-attack. We cannot do anything on counter-attack. But wait, wait, wait. It's not over yet. Michael Olise here with so much free space. Come on, Olise. Come on, Olise. What are you doing, Michael Olise? Come on, boys. We need to score a goal versus Real Madrid. Otherwise, we're losing this Champions League final. Look at Luka Modric, man. He's performing so well. But nice interception here from Bastoni. And maybe this is our chance right now. Federico Chiesa. Federico Chiesa. Come on, Chiesa. Come on, Chiesa. We're back into the game. What an interception from Bastoni that led to this goal from Federico Chiesa. Come on. Who went for us? What about Federico Chiesa? Come on, Chiesa. Come on, Chiesa. Come on, Chiesa. Christopher Ancunco. Let's go. Let's go, man. We are turning this game completely. What a ball from Enzo Fernandez to Federico Chiesa. And Federico Chiesa showed why he's one of the best wingers. Didn't took it selfish. Passed the ball to Ancunco. And what an easy finish from our center forward. Let's go. And we did it. We waited for a season for that moment. Moment, but now Alessandro Bastoni is gonna leave the Champions League trophy. What a team we created! What a rebuild! I really hope you enjoyed so far. But now let's also check who is gonna win the Ballon d'Or. All of our Chelsea boys are nominated, so let's see who is gonna win it. What? It's Christopher Nkunku? I really thought it's gonna be Cole Palmer, but wow, doesn't matter, man. Nkunku won Bowen Door. What an amazing rebuild. I really hope you enjoyed, of course. If so, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But I'm out and I wish you a great day. Bye bye.